Hello, this is Frank Korn. This is AP Studio Art Critiques, well, mid-crits, here at artwithcorp.com. The following short little videos are part of a mid-crit we took place, uh, we took part in uh, regarding our nature artwork. So uh, sit back and enjoy. If you have any feedback, that'd be great. Thanks. All right, introduce yourself. Hi guys, I'm Molly, and this is a, my nature project so far. So pretty much while I was out there, I really liked the leaves, and I got some good ones that actually stayed green, so that was nice. And um, I really like to do landscapes and stuff, but I also wanted to like still have to incorporate nature. So instead of just like throwing leaves on top of the landscape, I thought just do it on the leaves. So wherever it's white, there's gonna be like a landscape there of like pictures I take at the nature center. So yeah, it's kind of like simple layout. Do you have a, an idea, a, a rationale behind it other than I like to do landscapes? I mean, it kind of like gets my perspective of where I was because it's going to be like where, where I was looking and like where I got the leaves. So I guess it gives like a better perspective of where these leaves came from and like where I saw there. Okay. All right. Thank you, Molly. It is the West Wing Weekly. It's the president's seal from the TV show The West Wing. Okay. Go ahead. My name is Alex Boho, and this is like what I have for my piece so far. Obviously, this is the part of nature that I'm going to be incorporating with it. And to come with my idea, I took a little bit, but Mr. Corb kind of just said start drawing one of your like pieces of nature that you picked up. So I started drawing this. I noticed I was like drawing a lot of horizontal lines like this, and it kind of reminded me of lines in the paper. So then um, I thought of like doing like words or incorporating that as far as like how I was going to do my piece. And so when I thought of nature, I thought of like change and something I used to really like to do is like draw graffiti words. So I was going to do different pieces of like graffiti along them. I was, well, I'm going to make a photograph. It's not going to be on the actual like physical thing. But um, and then kind of incorporate them. I was going to put them on the photograph more so than on this thing. And it's kind of at least to me, it's more like personal representing like how my art has like changed and how it like yes, it will in the future. And so that's that. OK. Thank you very much, Alex. Go ahead. Oh, I have to introduce you. Yes. Hi, I'm Kennedy Lindemann. So far, all I have right now is a sketch I did, the self-portrait. Um, so the way I'm incorporating the nature aspect is I'm going to paint, I'm going to put the dirt in the paint. So it's going to be like kind of making up the whole thing, obviously. So it just kind of was going to represent like my own connection to nature just because um, I don't know, I like the outdoors a lot. Oh no, dude, I, I saw you doing that. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the outdoors a lot. When I was younger, like most of my childhood was spent outdoors because we had like a woods behind our house and everything. So I don't know, so I was kind of drawing on that, just that it kind of has built me up to be the person I am, I guess, and that's why it's kind of making up my piece. Um, that's all I got. Do you know what material you're going to be putting this painting onto? Is it going to be canvas or paper? I would like canvas. Okay. Probably. Okay. We have that, so no worries. <laughs> That's good. Could you do this same project, this same artwork, without your materials from outside? Probably. No. No, I would not be able to do that at all. <laughs> good answer. That, good that answer. That dirt's really important to it. Well, why, why would that dirt be important to it? Because it contributes to the meaning of the piece. Right. Very good. Very good. All right. Thank you very much, <laughs> Kennedy. Yes, Action. Okay. Hi, I'm Natalie Horn. Um, this is the start to my nature piece. So, so far I have been taking this rock and this rock and applying paint to them and then either rolling or dabbing the paper onto the paint to create these, which with these I took photographs when I was outside of like looking up into the leaves and how like the light and sky kind of shine through. Um, so it's supposed to represent all four seasons. So spring, summer, fall, winter. Um, and then on top of that, so that's supposed to like represent the nature part, but then I'm taking pine needles and then creating a face out of it, 
which then I'm going to paint black and then take a white conte to make it more like a realistic figure kind of. And how I want to display it, I'm not exactly sure on, but it's supposed to be how us as humans come out, don't pay attention to nature when it's like being beautiful and doing its thing. So I want to incorporate the figure kind of turned away from like the background of these and they're all going to be like mixed together kind of. And then I want to also display the rock because it kind of helped me get to where I am. And that's my thing. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Go ahead. All right. So I'm off in Tour Horse. Um, this, my plan right now is I'm drawing my dog that passed away like a few years ago. I mean, I have a new dog, but this is the dog that I associate with nature, which I can explain later. But the plan is to use like these little like leafy things and make it like the dog hairs coming out of this already painted, well, beginning stage painting of it. And then what I plan to do is crush up like all these like pine cones and like old leaves and like kind of drunky looking stuff and have that be like the background which I'll mix with glue and I tested it on different pieces of paper but it looks pretty cool. Um, Cause when I associate with nature, I think of like up north and like we, our whole family shares this cabin up north and when I think of it, I think of like my dog just like running freely now on a leash and like the sunset, like I don't know, just moments that I can think of. And I associate this dog with it because this what, it was like the dog that I grew up as with a child and my whole family loved him a lot and yeah. What's gonna be in the background? Um, well I was gonna do this like textured stuff, but I didn't know if that was gonna be too boring and I didn't really know how to resolve that yet. But Okay. Yeah. Alright, thank you, Aubrey. Uh, Hi. <laughs> Someone want to help her clip those up? Go ahead. Okay, so these are my sketches. I just really want to like practice the line work because obviously for the final, like if I mess up the line, I can really redo it. So. I just kind of want to play with line work on the face and like where like it would be darker and lighter and it just kind of like is how like nature makes you feel serenity and zen or whatever. Mm -hmm. And like these are going to be like, I found these little like acorn shavings or like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, like the little shell parts. Okay. And I kind of just wanted to like make them spin like doesn't look like a spiral there but like a spiral kind of like because I'm like or like maybe like circle patterns because in like Buddhism mm -hmm. there's like that so I can't sure. explain it there's like circle patterns that they like use to resemble like what goes around comes around and all that kind of stuff okay and then like a mandala yeah but there's like this circle it's like one stroke and it's okay. like just symbolic in the religion <laughs> and she'll be reading her buddhist the buddhist for dummies tonight <laughs> yeah. and then i just want these like more natural colors like this one has like blues and greens and then the little shavings or whatever are like brown so i'm just gonna use colors from nature okay well you know i start with i really enjoy your use of blues and orange it looks like you're playing around with some color yeah. theory yeah. so that's good and then what is it going to be built on? Well, I'm going to do watercolors for, like, the color. So I'm just going to do watercolor paper. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm ready. Go ahead. I'm Casey Frederick. This is my piece. So with mine, I'm taking leaves and painting on them with a paintbrush and pressing them down like a stamp to get the texture. And my theme is that I'm trying to show growth. Trees grow, like birds. There's a baby. Okay. And why the colors? Well, I was originally going to do red because I really thought that red kind of symbolizes growth, like a fire. Then I'm doing a blue dream now. So. Okay. Any problems that you're running into? What's the problems you're running into? 
falling apart, so I don't want to use that. Okay. All right. Thank you, Casey. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I'm really thirsty. Um, this is my tea so far. What I'm planning on doing is doing a landscape, but I'm taking leaves, and I'm originally had them drawn out, like trace the leaves, so the spot was just gonna stay blank on that part, and then I was gonna paint over the leaf, the leaf to um, like finish, like just kind of compact it. But um, uh, Molly kind of helped me out and she told me it might be easier if I just finish the landscape and then I kind of trace out the leaves and then mod podge it or gesso, gesso, not mod podge, uh, the outline of the leaf. So then I could just pin it on there and then like kind of what the meaning would be like when you take away nature, it just kind of like wastes out or whatever, it becomes boring. I'm going to, right now I just kind of have it laid out and I was experimenting with a bunch of different like colors and stuff. Now I'm going to go in with acrylic paint to make it much more vibrant. So this is your underpainting? Yes. Excellent. Okay. And then right here, I'm going to end up cutting it so it's smaller and it kind of makes more sense because it just kind of feels, when it's bigger, it just kind of feels yeah. Um, Reference material? I have two pictures that I'm going off of. Okay. One is a spring or a lot of like different colors of trees and then... A kind of dull one but it really in that photo that I had the water I really liked how the water looked so I'm gonna try and combine them and re-explain the leaves uh, I'm gonna take I have three leaves and I'm gonna like how can I describe it I thought you were hanging them like out from like this yeah I'm gonna hang them kind of like over the painting and then you're gonna do like the outline of the leaf like like a white gesso under the painting, so then if you take away the leaf, it's just blank there. Yeah, except I'm gonna paint on the leaf, like what okay. is on. Okay, I think I get it. All right. Oh, you're okay. doing that too. Yeah, I didn't know you were doing that. Okay. Just thought it was easier. Okay. Thank you very much. Is <laughs> go ahead. I'm Bella Arredondo, and this is my piece. Um, mine's kind of going off of a story that when I was younger, my grandparents had this giant um, pine tree. And so they would give me a bag and tell me to go pick up pine cones for like 30 minutes. And I'd come back inside and they'd give me a quarter. But as soon as I'd leave, they would just dump the bag out underneath the tree. <laughs> <laughs> this is my piece. And so what are you doing? And so I have a still life picture and then I'm actually drawing it to scale. And then this one's going to have like a pine cone and that one's going to have a tiny glare. And they're not going to be in that order, but... Okay. Thoughts? Go ahead. So, um, I'm Sammy Maya. Um, when I was out in the woods, just like there, I felt like connected to just myself. And it made me think of like just my past experiences where I've gone through a lot of distress and just emotional times in my life. And I don't know, and you feel a certain sadness, you feel it in your sternum. I don't feel it like in my your gut or like anything else. I feel brokenness right here, and so that's why I tried to convey with like the pieces of sticks or whatever, and then just loosely stuck on there and uh, tied together with some string. This um, when I saw this stuff laying in the ground, it made me think of like muscle fiber, and so that's like kind of like that. And I don't know, if I'm gonna like try to push it around or just kind of leave it like that. But Do you have your sample piece? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Um, so I just kind of like recreated this, like how I'm going to do I'm going to cut this off and then super glue or hot glue them. And then I just got them really wet and held them down with like something heavy. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and they stayed like that. I didn't think they were going <laughs> to. Um, so I might try to do that, but I feel like this is too thick. Whereas this was just single strands, um, I don't know. Cause I kind of, I kind of like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Are you gonna continue the, the like the spine and the pelvis and the neck? So, uh, oh yeah. So what I'm doing is um, I'm continuing the the bones that go down here, and then in here. I don't remember where I heard this, but like, there, you have different parts of your soul, and your soul that is in like here is like your integrity kind of like your gut so like I'm 
have like a circular perfume bottle that I'm filling with mm -hmm. 17 dead leaves and then I'm going to try to preserve one alive leaf for like the future because I'm 17. Um, and then put, I'm going to try to find like a little light that I can like just stick back in the filling and plug it in. Just like, I don't know, a light. Okay. So. All right. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Ashley Hancock, and this is my piece. Um, the basis of my piece is basically how humans affect uh, nature and how we're living in the world and impacts how nature comes to be. So my future plans are to use modeling paste and just basically hodgepodge a bunch of different leaves and cones and rocks into the background. This is your center line. This is not the top line. This, this is not the bottom line. This is the line that runs straight through the middle. Now? Yeah, go ahead. Um, okay, I'm Madeline. So my thought process was this, like, I wa we walked out to, like, the path, and, like, I kind of, like, stood there and I looked at the path. I was thinking about, like, nature itself, like, what could I do? And I was thinking, why not recreate what I saw with nature itself? So recreating nature with nature. So I thought it would be kind of cool. Um, so I just, this part so far is kind of, like, I have a picture on my phone, but like the path kind of like veers into like like the trees, and like this part like is kind of hidden with all like the trees and everything else. But I had like the original dirt path, and then it looked kind of plain, so that's why I had like this is mossy bark and stuff, so it kind of looks like trees and like grass on the ground itself. And then like um, when I'm done, like I'm gonna have like I have different sized leaves and like dead ones, like ones that look more alive and stuff like that, and I'm gonna kind of layer them out, and I have branches and couple pine needles and stuff like that so I have more layering that I need to do but as of right now I just kind of have my path. Okay. Do you have any other ideas behind this other than recreating what you see? Has it got any symbolism or any thoughts besides that? Um, I haven't really put too much thought of it, like thought of like symbolism. I guess I could say like, I don't know, like as much as you see something, no matter how many times you try to like do it again or recreate what you see, it's never going to be perfect. Okay. So like you can try and try, but it's not going to be what you originally saw. Any thoughts, suggestions? Are the leaves that you're going to include like fall colors or are they like... Um, I